Welcome to another video about the Polaris Ranger custom plow mount project. So my friend has a, uh, a mid-size 800 Ranger and he also has a plow that he bought for his Razor 800, the Glacier 2 model. We both thought it would be a simple matter of just buying the Ranger 800 mount, put that on the front and connect up the plow. No. The, uh, the push assembly which is the beast in the middle, is too narrow. Uh, the Ranger is much wider, so you have to change the push frame as well as the mount. So we weren't going to do that because that's about six or seven hundred dollars. So we took the front of the Ranger off. I've marked where the winch bolts in, and uh, I took a picture of it front on so that I could do some design work. I use a product called a Spire from Vetric, and this is a technique I've used uh, a number of times. Uh, just for making parts up really quickly. Um, all I do is take in a photograph and overlay points of interest. So as you can see here I'm just making roughly where the bracket is going to fit on that. I'm trying to follow the contours the best I can. You don't have to be super accurate. I mean it's good to be relatively close but you can always adjust it later on. There we go, I've got my rough outline. Next, what I do is mark the centers of all the holes that I'm, I want my piece. So I'm just going to put a circle in there. One for the bottom mount bolt. And then the same for the other side. And there's a couple of bolts just, you can see there. I just want to put some holes in there just for access. Not quite sure why, but it seemed wrong to just cover them up. So there we have it. I'm just going to delete the, uh, the picture. And you can see I kind of messed up the corner there, but that's fine. So what I do is create a box. That's the approximate size of how big in reality that the item should be. I think this is 14 by 7. So just grouped all the items together and just by dragging the, uh, the group down there I can resize it so it fills that space exactly. Now I have a dimension part. As you can see it's not exactly uh, perfect. So I'm just going to remove that box now. Next one I'm going to do is go in and uh, adjust some of the features. Just going to ungroup that first. Okay, now I'm going to set the size of my holes I need to cut. So this one's going to be half inch. There we go. And this is the completed drawing. Obviously, it's a little bit different. I've put some radiuses on and some more details, but you get the idea. So this is the uh, the mock-up. I made this out of 16 gauge just to proof of concept, make sure everything lined up where it should be, just tack welded together. And this is the uh, Mark 1 prototype just mounted on the front of the, the razor. So off to the CNC, do a bit of code.
So that's the end of the build. Uh, this just shows the Ranger doing a bit of pushing snow. Uh, it was ploughed the day before, so there wasn't that much. But as you can see, the, the plough works really well. It's very rigid. Um, I, I don't really think it needs the, the wider uh, push frame. And by doing what we did, we saved probably about six or seven hundred dollars. And I think the amount of materials in the project was probably, I don't know, fifty bucks and some time. It's uh, certainly worth having to think of. There isn't an alternative that I could find without just replacing all the hardware on the plow. So, yeah, I, I think it's a good project.